located near the border of Cambodia in the east part of the Gulf of Thailand is Koh Chang, Thailand's second largest island. Koh Chang, also known as Elephant Island, is home to many gorgeous beaches and it's on the quieter side of the tourism spectrum. In this video, I'm going to show you all the beaches I visited on this island and share my thoughts on each one. I'm Steph Taylor, and if this is your first time to my channel, and if you like travel videos, then be sure and subscribe. Also, be sure and check out my Instagram for all of the pictures that I take on my trips. To get to Koh Chang, you'll need to take a ferry from the mainland. I flew to Trat from Bangkok and stayed a few nights in Chantaburi before my trip to the island. Really interesting place with lots of history and lots to do. If you're interested in seeing what Chantaburi is like, be sure and check out the link above for that vlog. The ferry from the mainland runs every hour on the hour from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and takes about 30 to 45 minutes to get to Koh Chang. The ferry drops you off at the pier on the north part of the island. So one way to get around the island is via a Song Tao. Now a Song Tao is basically a pickup truck that's been converted into a passenger vehicle. It can be a lot of fun um, and the rates kind of vary depending on how far you're going. It's best to hitch a ride with a larger group as this will drop the price significantly. There aren't any seat belts, so just make sure to hold on tight as these vehicles go on bumpy roads and whip around tight corners. Typical rates range from around 50 to 200 baht and are definitely negotiable. To cover these beaches in detail, we're gonna start at the north part of the island and work our way south. Most of the beaches I went to are all located on the west side of the island. If you have the desire and the time to visit the east side beaches, you'll definitely need to dedicate a full day trip. Typically Song Tao's don't go to the east side, but there are many places on the island that you can rent a motorbike from for the day. Our first stop is White Sand Beach. This beach is on the north end and appropriately named after its fine bright sand. So this is White Sand Beach. It's probably the most developed beach out of all the beaches in Koh Chang, and it definitely draws the biggest crowd. You can easily find lots of different restaurants, lots of different resorts, lots of different hotels. If you don't mind the crowd and want a large stretch of sand with lots of restaurant choices and a little bit of nightlife, White Sand Beach is a great option. It's also the main commercial area where the banks are located. The next beach worth mentioning is Chai Chet Beach. This is an excellent beach and it ended up being my favorite out of them all. At this beach you'll find mostly backpackers and families. There are a ton of accommodation options from hostels to resorts to bungalows and lots of restaurants and coffee shops. You'll also find Thai ladies walking up and down the beach selling jewelry. Along this beach, you'll find quite a few swings that hang from the palm trees. What makes this place my favorite is how picturesque it is during sunset. Just a short walk south of Chai Chet Beach is Klong Prao Beach. This beach is split by two canals and has a very laid back, quiet vibe. Here you'll find a seemingly endless selection of restaurants and accommodations. Walking along and then, whoa, oh my gosh, wow, I'm in quicksand. This is fun. Uh, so this is Klong Prao Beach and I pretty much have this whole place to myself. And it's nearly sunset. I feel like this is a really good find. Just a 
arrived at Kai Bay Beach. It seems pretty peaceful. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Doesn't seem to be very many people here except um, maintenance crews that are sweeping off the walkways. Sand feels really soft on my toes. Kai Bay Beach is a long stretch of beautiful beach that is located in the central area of the west coast of the island. It has three luxury resorts and several mid-range accommodation options along with lots of backpacker bungalows. This beach is one of the best when it comes to the selection of food with tons of variety. This is also a great beach for nightlife. Now we're headed to the Kai Bay Viewpoint, which is also known as the Mu Ko Chang National Park Viewpoint on the map. So it's about a 13 minute walk from Kai Bay Beach. Current time now is 9.40 a.m. and the temperature is pretty, starting to warm up a little bit, but it's not intolerable. Slight incline. So right after the initial incline, the walk is about a quarter of a mile left. So at the viewpoint, they do have a coffee shop. Unfortunately, it is not open right now, but I would imagine this would be a really nice place to have coffee and look out at that view. Just behind the coffee shop, there is another viewpoint. Looks like it's a platform at the top of a set of stairs. I did read some reviews online that said the view is actually much better from the parking lot. So if you don't feel like climbing the stairs after your trek, that is probably perfectly fine. But here's what it looks like if you do choose to climb the stairs. breeze feels really good at the top, but there is a nice view. It's just obstructed by this tree. So if you are looking to get better pictures than this, you're probably fine at the parking lot. In all honesty, it's really not that much more of a climb. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a license for that? Oh, okay, play. Mostly known for its nightlife, Lonely Beach is the top backpacker destination on Ko Chang. This is the beach to come to if you're looking for parties, DJs, live music, and a variety of bars. The accommodation options are mostly budget bungalows and guest house rooms, and a few upscale resorts. There are lots of small-scale restaurant choices that serve Thai food at a very low price point. Chill during the day, but at nighttime it turns into a party scene. So if you're looking for nightlife on Ko Chang, Lonely Beach is the place to go. There's lots of different nightclubs, there's fire shows, they go all out during the full moon or half moon festival. So Lonely Beach is definitely a beach to check out if you're looking for nightlife. But during the day, it's a pretty chill location. This is Bailan Beach, and it's pretty quiet, pretty secluded, pretty low key. There are a couple of Thai restaurants. The beach itself, compared to the other ones, is not the best, but it's quiet, and there aren't that many people here, so something to definitely consider. Long Bao Beach, also known as Klong Khloi Beach, is located on the very south end of the island. Because it's a bit of a drive from the north, this is a popular spot for day trippers. Bong Bao is a long stretch of beautiful beach that has lots of hotels and restaurants. Here you have choices ranging from backpacker bungalows to boutique resorts. There's also a fishing village if you feel like exploring apart from the beach. 
It does not seem too crowded. It is 11 a.m. right now, and there's a few people scattered here and there, but for the most part, they're just enjoying their time. It's a nice peace and quiet. Bong Bao has lots of seaside massage places, so this would be the place to come and relax, hang out in a hammock, go for a massage. There's a couple of tiny restaurants along the beach. Just ordered myself some glass noodles with chicken. It's actually really good. Look at this Mai Tai though. It was so cute. The server who came out to give this to me was like, can I take a photo of it really quick over by the ocean? I'm like, yes, as long as you let me steal your idea, but it tastes really good. So each beach has its own unique vibe, but out of all of the beaches I went to, I'd have to say my top three favorite beaches are Chai Chet, Kai Bay, and Bong Bao. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more travel videos just like this one, be sure and subscribe. Also, click that bell so you know when my next video is posted. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.